Hello and welcome to another video. This one is about imports in Python. There are two types of imports. There's from imports and import imports. And I get this suggested to me a lot that one or the other is more efficient than the other. Either it takes less memory, it's faster, or that sort of thing. And I kind of wanted to debunk some of that as well as show you some, some material that <laughs> recommends this and uh, you know is, is just kind of wrong. Uh, and I wanted to point out how you can, you know, demonstrate that it's not that way as well. Uh, so anyway, let's jump into it. So we're gonna be taking a look at CS50, which is a very popular course. I believe it's done by MIT, and this is a little snippet from it. And then we'll 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 pick apart the snippet and then show you how it actually works. And if you want to import CS50's functions, you just say import CS50. Or if you want to be more precise and not just import the whole thing which could be slow if you've got a really big library with a lot of functionality in it. You can be more precise and say from CS50, import, get float. OK, so what, what he's suggesting here is that an import statement is going to pull in the whole library, and that can potentially be expensive. And he's saying that from imports will in the, only import a particular name from it, which will be less expensive, uh, which you know seems believable on the surface, but let's uh, kind of dig into it and look at how that works. We're actually going to use CS50 to demonstrate this just so that we're being one-to-one -one here. And you can install CS50 and it'll pull in whatever version is the current version, as well as a whole bunch of other libraries. What is all this stuff for? Uh, I thought it was just a bunch of input reading. Um, anyway, and if we run the Python interpreter and if we run import CS50, what this is really doing is the module system is saying, uh, okay, go find this module name. And first what it's going to do is it's going to look in sys.modules and see if that module already exists. In this case, it does not. And so then it's gonna go to the file system, basically looking up sys.path to find uh, somewhere on one of these path locations. Let me actually put that so you can see it on screen. Uh, it's going to try one of these path locations. In our case, it's going to look at, oh, we're not inside of the virtual env. Whoops. <laughs> Let's do that again. Uh, oh, whoops. We need to actually be in Python. <laughs> it started image magic, which has unfortunate names there. Uh, import sys, sys.path. You'll see we have a whole bunch of path locations here. This is the one where it's going to find CS50. Again, if we do sys.modules, CS50. You'll see that it doesn't exist there. And so what the import statement is going to do is it's going to look up on these paths, find either a Python file or a .so file, or if you're on Windows, it'll be like PyD. On macOS, it might be Dialib, but it's it's going to be some module file, and then it's going to run that module. That's the first step of importing, and then after it has run that module, it would stick it into sys.modules, and then uh, you know depending on whether it's an import import or a from import, it's going to expose those names into your namespace. If we did, for instance, from CS50 import get int, what this did is it went, found the CS50 module, then it wrote it into sys.modules. So if we do sys.modules CS50, see that whole entire module is there and all of the parts of it. So we're not saving any memory. This is always imported and always available everywhere. Uh, in fact, it pulled in Flask, so it, you know, we also have sys.modules Flask as well, probably. Uh, oh, we don't. Maybe that's a submodule of CS50. I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, like it, it pulled in all these modules. It pulled in logging, OS, SQL, Sys, a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Um, and the bottom line of this is that imports are just side effects. They trigger things to end up in sysup modules, and then we pull attributes out of them and put them into our namespace. So now we should have get int here. Uh, and you know we could also look at sys.modules, CS50, dot get int and that's going to be exactly the same function and so that's how imports work now there is one argument that from imports can be a little bit faster at runtime and this is actually true uh, but it doesn't really matter so the 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 you know the the proposition there is that import cs50 and then doing cs50 dot get int um, i don't actually know how the function works because i watched the video um, Running this is ever so slightly slower than doing from CS50 import get int and then doing get int dot dot dot. And that's because, uh, you know, name lookups and attribute lookups take some amount of nanoseconds. And it's nanoseconds. It really doesn't matter. 
Uh, if this is something that's going to make a performance difference in your application, you either are using the wrong language or should spend time optimizing something else because you know, attribute lookup is so quick in Python. It's you know it's it's one dictionary lookup that it's not worth optimizing. Um, but I'm sure someone in the comments will be like, but but actually faster. And yeah, you're right, but it doesn't matter. Uh, but anyway, yeah, imports are just side effects. They put things into sys.modules, and so from imports and import imports aren't going to change how much code gets executed. It's always going to run the whole module, and so, yeah, uh, it's not any more memory efficient or, or time efficient. Anyway, hopefully you found this useful. If there are additional things you would like me to explain, leave a comment below or reach out to me on the various platforms. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.